All right, so going into part two with creating this animation from our uh, different filtered images that we've created here. And so let's go over what we need to do now. So um, we should have four layers, uh, each one with a different filter on it, and then one layer here with some different colored uh, rectangles uh, and shapes. And so what we need to do is let's go ahead and save. I have this top layer with the shapes on and my bottom layer, the enlarged layer with the noise turned on. And so those I'm going to go file, save, I'll call this glitch GIF one. We'll say JPEG and high for the size, quality and say download. When this little dialog box is ready, I will say close to get it out of the way. And next, what I'm going to do is turn on the image layer with the other filter above it. So that's the one I can see in front of this one. Um, and then what I'm going to do is scroll all the way up to the top and going to change the blend mode for this shape layer. So maybe choose something different. Screen, I don't know, it gets too white. Overlay, it's kind of hard to see. So again, you may choose different um, blend modes from what I choose based on your image and how those different uh, layers combine, you know, because they won't all blend the same because they are, um, your photos composed a different way with different colors and tones than mine is. So I kind of like difference. Um, exclusion is interesting too. Um, yeah, I think I might just go with difference. Again, just change up the layer style and then let's go file, save, We'll call this glitch GIF 2, JPEG, high, download, boom. Wait the three, four seconds, and then click close. Next, I'm going to turn on this layer above that one, this pixely one, and then scroll back up. I'm going to change this layer blend mode style on this, on my colored shapes layer again. Um, I feel like I used multiply, did I use overlay? I don't know that I used overlay. Can't really see overlay that well, but that's okay. I think I kind of liked that it was subtle on this one. So, um, so yeah, so I'll just go ahead one more time. Actually, not one more time. We have still one, one more time. Glitch GIF three, and then I'll say download and wait the three seconds. And we're gonna do one more save before we create this as an animation. So again, clicking this one more time, this fringe layer, um, making that one visible again. And then, um, you know, you could choose to make this. I might make this shape layer just not visible on this one. So it kind of goes away for one frame. And so just keeping the fringe on and then going to file, save, glitch GIF, this will be four. Uh, JPEG, high, download, and then um, now that we've got all these created and saved on our computers, we can upload them into Google Photos. So again, if we are in Classroom or we in our, we are in our email, click on your Google Apps uh, button up in the upper right corner here. Scroll down a little bit until you see Google Photos. We'll click on that. We'll go to click on the Upload button here from our computer. And then we should click on glitch GIF one, hold shift, click on the top one there, and then we can upload all four of those photos in to our Google Photo Library. Give that a second to get up and in there. Click on the X to close. We'll just go to this create button right next to the upload button, create animation. And we will select the four photos that we had saved here and click on create. Wait a second and boom. So here we go with our little uh, effect animation going through some different filters um, and creating that kind of like a glitch sort of animated effect. So uh, just remember to click on the three dots for more options. You'll want to download this animation to your computer. This will now be in your downloads folder. So when you go into Google Classroom and you go to submit for the assignment, you would click on choose file and then choose file from your computer and upload that from your downloads in your computer. And so uh, that is, does it for this 
computer animation art lesson uh, for today. So I hope you guys have fun and luck with creating your own animations.